So, what is going on, YouTube? This is Sam from Team Sam Rex on here, and today, guys, I am coming at you with a Metal Forces Yang Zing deck profile for the post Dark Illusion. So, I really hope you guys enjoy this deck profile. I'm telling you guys right now, Yang Zings are getting a ton of support. They're getting branches in Invasion of Venom. They're also getting Deng Long as well. And you know, now since the new Metal Forces cards have uh, has came out in Dark Illusions, we're going to be incorporating Metal Forces into Yang Zings. I'm telling you guys right now, using Metal Forces, uh, you know, scales to pop your you know, your Yang Zing monsters gives you access to Zhou Tao, uh, Zhao Tu very very fast so you can do crazy shenanigan plays and you know what guys this deck profile is going to be relatively quick you guys all know what Yang Zing does and you know during the end of the video I want to show you guys my extra deck I'm going to be showing you guys some combos on what you can do with this new meta, uh, meta force Yang Zing deck and let me tell you guys right now uh, even though this, this deck does not have Deng Long yet you can still make explosive plays and I'll tell you guys all my card choices as I progress to the deck profile so you know what enough talking let's get straight into the deck profile guys so i'll start with the monsters monsters is very very standard you guys want to play of course triple jiao to uh you know uh you know darkness of the yangs and this card is very very uh standard you know the main card of the deck the main combo piece of the deck you must play triple jiao to this card is absolutely phenomenal helps you uh start all your xyz plays and it just makes you uh go into really explosive plays so jiao to is the best card in the deck in my personal opinion next round play of course uh you know triple chai win card is amazing helps you go into uh you know chao fang and you know the fact that if your uh, Yang Zing monster uh, gets destroyed, you can activate this effect in the graveyard, especially made from the grave, which is pretty, pretty cool. So, uh, Chi Wen, really, really amazing. Uh, your level one light tuner. Next off to your fire guy, you want to play, of course, Triple Swanee. This card is really good as well. Uh, if it's used as a synchro uh, material, uh, the synchro monster gains 500 attack, which is amazing. So, these cards are all floors of the deck. So, Triple Yang Zing, uh, Swanee. And next, you want to go, of course, Triple uh, Beyond. Uh, this card is really amazing as well. Uh, you know, it protects uh, your synchro monsters that's. Uh, use this as a single material for me to destroy my battle, which is really, really good. Really great with a uh, Herald of Arc Light, which is absolutely amazing. Next one I'm play, of course, uh, Big C, your Trap Immune, very, very strong. Next one I'm play, of course, your Pulao. Uh, this card is your Spell Immune, so which is pretty, pretty cool. So that's pretty much it for your Yang Zing float of the deck. Uh, very, very great. And you know what? For the Yang Zing combo with Metal Foles, all you literally need to open up is one Metal Foles' uh, scale and uh, literally any floater with two discard outlet for Jawa 2, then you have an insane combo, which I'm going to you guys during the end of the video so that's pretty much it for the floater aspect of the deck you must play these floaters in the deck i don't know i don't play uh the total because i felt like total isn't necessary uh in this version so that's pretty much it for the floaters let's go off to of course uh, i played uh the one zafraxi uh you can definitely do tons of combo plays with zafraxi and i'll showcase you guys later but you know once denglong comes out this card will definitely go up to two in my personal opinion uh so zafraxi is very very good now let's go off to uh next you want to play triple Z uh zafrani this card is one of the key combo pieces uh, in the deck aside from playing triple jiao to this card is absolutely phenomenal it's a level six uh pendulum yang zing uh zephyr monster which is very very good if you guys don't know what uh zephyr news effect is that uh when this card is special summon uh no pendulum summon or destroyed you basically uh, get to search any yang zing small trap card for your deck to your hand so that means you can search your creation your uh, yang zing path and uh you know what you're playing Z uh, zephyr divine strike in this uh version so uh, this card can easily search the, that card out and of course uh, when, when Invasion of Venom comes out this card can easily search up your Psalm Judgment aka Branches of the Yang Zing so Zephrani so is really important you must play triple copy of this card because he is one of your main combo pieces to go to with Jiao Tu and I'll showcase you guys the combo later so Zephrani uh, is very very good in the deck so that's pretty much it for Yang Zing Engine uh, very very standard Yang Zing Engine and uh, Zephraxi is very very good in his deck because it's able to make a uh, Baxia a, a tuner and you can easily go into your uh, Ultimaya play which I'm about to showcase you guys to be honest guys I cannot sh wait to showcase you guys a combo because these combos are pretty pretty nasty now let's go off to your Metal Forces engine you want to play of course triple Metal Forces uh, Silvered uh, you know your uh, your one scale of the deck so you know you want to play triple this uh, triple uh, stealing right here your uh, level 8 sorry your scale 8 very very good and then you want to play of course uh, the other one of the scale 8 and the other one of the scale 1 I feel like playing the 8 uh, Metal Forces engine is definitely more than enough in my personal opinion uh, I actually like I didn't test it enough at 9 but I felt like 8 is definitely more than enough uh, so this is the perfect uh, in my personal opinion uh, Metal Forces lineup so that's pretty much it for your Metal Force engine and these cards are very very good because uh, they're easily able to pop your Yang Zing's uh, floaters to go into Jiao Tu which is very very phenomenal and it also extends, uh, your, extends your combo plays which is very very good and these cards in my personal opinion increases the ceiling of Yang Zing's you know being able to pop a floater to help you get into uh, Jiao Tu faster is very phenomenal uh, you know uh, 
back in the day, what we used to do with Yang Zings is that, you know, if you don't see Jiao Tu, you want to see a dark hole and a floater so that way that you can open up Jiao Tu. But now all you need, literally need to see is, of course, a metaphor and a floater and two discard outlets and you can easily make unbreakable boards uh, with this deck. So that's pretty much it for your uh, Metal Forces engine. Uh, very, very good engine, especially in Yang Zings. Now let's go off to our spells. We want to play, of course, Triple Yang Zing Path. Card's really good, recycles all your Yang Zings to draw two cards, which is very, very amazing. And it's easily searchable off as a friend you, uh, which is very, very good. So triple uh, yeah, um, Yang Zing Path. Next, you want to play, of course, one Soul Charge, because Soul Charge, uh, you know, Soul Charge games, really, really amazing. Be able to just Soul Charge back every single thing that you use to Synchro and just bring it all back and do it again. Very, very powerful. Soul Charge, uh, especially in decks like Blue Eyes and Yang Zings, this uh, card can be used to its full potential in uh, in Yang Zing. So Soul Charge is really amazing. Next, you want to play, of course, double storm a storm is really amazing because you're able to pop your combinations things like that pop your scales uh pop your combinations to add re-add back scales from your deck to your hand which is very very good uh you know very very amazing be able to trigger out combination to get your scales really good and you know popping your opponent's back row is really great as well so a double storm in this deck is really amazing and last but not least to run off our spell you want to play the one metaphor uh fusion very good it helps you go into uh what is it called um orac I don't really know how to, how, how to pronounce his name, but it's able to help you go into uh, uh, the fusion. And also, uh, the really good thing about this card is that you're able to just recycle this card from a graveyard, and, you know, return this card to the graveyard, uh, from, from a graveyard to your deck to draw one card, which is pretty, pretty good. And this is probably your last target if you don't have any more combination in the deck. And you know what? That way, your Metal Forces uh, effects are always live because this card is always able to recycle itself from the grave back to the deck uh, and to draw one card, which is very, very good. So the Metal Force Fusion is absolutely amazing. Uh, in my personal opinion. So this is pretty much it for your spells. Let's go off to our traps real quick. You want to play, of course, the one Yang Zing creation. Not a lot of people play this card, uh, but I like to play it because you want to get, be able to get uh, good searches off uh, the Zafir Anu uh, and the amount of extensive combo plays you can do with uh, uh, creation with the uh, Metaphors and a floater is, and especially with the Yang Zing creation. So Yang Zing creation, Metaphors, uh, uh, effect and of course a floater plus this very very uh, broken boards you can make so one Yangs in creation is very very good uh, one Zephyr uh, Divine Strike you can easily make unbreakable boards first turn with this card which I will showcase you guys as soon as I finish showing you guys my extra deck so one Zephyr Divine Strike this card is like the branches for now uh, before Deng Long and branches come out so Zephyr Divine Strike if you guys don't know what's effect is that when a spawn trap card or monster effect is activated banish one face of Zephyr monster in your extra deck so that way uh, so it can either be Zephraxi or Zephran you um Negate the activation and if you do destroy it. So this card is very very good. This card is an infernity barrier uh, for this deck right now. So if you guys want to play triple metal force combination, this card is really amazing. Uh, you know, uh, commonly off the of Baxia and Storm is very very amazing. Be able to storm uh, this card and you know to destroy your opponent's back row and things like that. And re-adding scales back from the deck to the hand is very very amazing. So metal force combination is one of the best cards, uh, one of the best trap cards in the deck because it's able to add your metal force scales from your deck to your hand. So that way that you can easily pendulum summon out uh, your and your Zephraxia again. So uh, to continue your extensive combo play. So combination is very very amazing so that's pretty much it for our trap lineup we are playing an exactly a uh, 40 card deck and let's go off to our extra deck real quick the extra deck is a uh, very very standard you obviously want to play triple uh baxia uh brightness of the yang Zing. this card is the main card of the deck you must play triple baxia card is the best card in the deck you want to pop combinations that scales be able to just revive back your uh, yang Zing monster from a graveyard it's just very very powerful so definitely baxia is a must off in this deck especially at three next of course we're gonna play the one yazi uh one yazi is definitely more than enough a uh, one trish you can easily make uh you can easily make trishula in this deck very very uh, strong one chow fang uh you know the light chow fang against blue eyes you know says gg and you know uh this card literally the you know uh, a light chow fang against blue eyes is gg so uh chow fang is really amazing next round of play of course one ultimaya disokin because you can make this and you guys are probably wondering sam how do we how do you make ultimaya if you don't have dang long you're about to see in a sec and next round of play of course one uh crystal wing synchro dragon very powerful uh one void ogre uh dragon one beals uh one odd eyes uh meter burst dragon one herald arc light one uh, Metaphos uh, Oracock. I, I, I don't even know how to pronounce his name, uh, so I'm not even gonna bother butchering it. Uh, one, of course, number 38, Hope Harbinger, uh, Dragon Tide Galaxy. And last but not least, an Excel Synchron. This card is your Denglong as of right now, and I'll showcase you guys some nasty combos that you can make with Axel Synchron and first turn Ultimaya and things like that, which I'm gonna showcase you guys right now. So that's pretty much it for the deck profile, guys. Stay tuned for the combo video in three, two, one.
Go. Let's go off to combo number one real quick. So combo number one is gonna bring you a light Chao Fang, a Titanic Galaxy, a Void Ogre Dragon with a Divine Zephyr Strike face down. So without further ado, let's get started with this combo. So what you basically need in your hand is any uh, metal foe uh, scale. Uh, it doesn't really matter if it's a scale one or a scale eight. So yeah, you just need a metal foe uh, monster, a pendulum monster at this point. And you need a floater, okay? Any floater. It doesn't have to be a pull out, but I'm just using pull out in this situation. And you need to, uh, to have two discard outlets. But uh, for this this uh, for this combo to work, uh, one of your discard outlets has to be a chew in. If you have a chew in your hand, you basically have this combo. Uh, so, uh, and it doesn't really matter what the other discard outlet it is. It can be any other Yang Zing monster. It doesn't matter. I'm just using Yang Zing creation as an example. And this uh, fifth card right here can be any card as well. So uh, let's go on uh, with the combo real quick. So start off, you want to activate your scale right here. Okay. So you want to activate your scale. You want to normal summon uh, pull out. Okay. You want to activate metal foe to pop this. So this goes to your graveyard. I'll put my graveyard right here. Uh, let's put the graveyard right here. Okay. So this, that's my graveyard right here. So uh, pop this and then you want to set the combination combination right here to set the combination uh this is the effect of uh the metal foe and then you want to special summon the jiao tu off the pull out okay so jiao tu is, is gonna special uh, the pull out and then uh what's gonna happen now is no pull out is gonna special the jiao tu i mean and now you want to activate jiao tu's effect uh to basically pitch these two cards in your hand to special summon a uh this is your grave right now pretty pretty cool to special summon a uh Zafranu. And of course, a Swanee from the deck. Okay, I'm just using Swanee uh, in this situation. So uh, you can special summon a Swanee from the deck. Now, what you want to do is you want to synchro, uh, you know, the Zafranu uh, with the Jiao Tu. Uh, you know, this will go to your uh, extra deck, of course. Uh, it's sort of great. You have to special summon a Baxia, the best card in your deck. So you special summon the Baxia. Let me just move everything down a bit. Okay, so there you go. Everything should be Gucci now. Uh, so now what's going to happen is that... Uh, Baxi effect is going to activate to pop Swanee to target Jiao Tu. So you're going to special summon this, uh, pop Swanee, and then uh, Chu Wen is going to activate to special summon the Chu Wen because your Yang Zing monster was destroyed. Uh, okay, so you're going to special summon the Chu Wen, and now Swanee is going to activate, and what you're going to do is uh, off Swanee's effect, you're going to special summon another Safranu uh, from the deck. So this is your board right now, and this is uh, in your graveyard right here. So this is your graveyard right here. You already use Pulau, and you already use uh, Swanee's effect. So now what you want to do is you want to synchro uh, these two right here uh, to the graveyard. Uh, so this will get banished. And, uh, you know, Baxi will go to the grave. And then to special summon a light Shao Fang. Uh, yeah, so you're going to special summon the, uh, the light Shao Fang. What you're going to do now is you're going to synchro summon these two. So Safrani so will go to the uh, extra deck and Jiao Tu will go to the graveyard. This is your graveyard right now. Okay, and then you're gonna go into another Baxia. Okay, this is very, very crucial. So you're gonna go into another Baxia. Now, Baxia effect is gonna activate to pop the combination and then to special summon the Jiao Tu from the graveyard. And now, combination is gonna activate and it's gonna search a uh, another scale. So now you wanna complete your scale. Since you have a one, you're gonna search the eight. And if you have the eight, you're gonna search the one. It doesn't really matter. So now, what you're gonna do right now at this point is you're gonna complete the scale. Okay, so activate this in, in your pendulum scale. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna pendulum summon out these two uh Zafran news, okay? So you're gonna uh pendulum summon out these two. Uh pretty pretty Gucci. And now at this point, what you guys wanna do is you wanna activate this Zafran news effect to search the divine strike, okay? Very important. The only reason why you, why you want to play one Zephyr Divine Strike is because it can brick and you only ever want to search it off the Zephranu. So you want to uh, set the Divine Strike right here. And now what's going to happen at this point is you're going to synchro these two right here. Okay. Into a Baxia. Okay. So you're going to go into a Baxia. Okay. A ba another Baxia. Your third Baxia. And now this is your board. Now you're going to activate your third Baxia's effect to pop a scale. So you pop, let's say, the 8th scale, and you're going to special summon a Jiao Tu from your graveyard again, okay? So this is from the graveyard. Now what you're going to do at this point, you're going to synchro the Zafranu and your Jiao Tu to the graveyard to special summon a Void Ogre in attack mode, okay? And now this is your board right here. Now you're going to overlay these two right here into a Hope Harbinger Titanic Galaxy right here. So this is your board right here, first turn, with just three cards in your hand and two discard outlets. And you also have a Divine Strike. You have, you know, what can you, what can Blue Eyes do to this? L look at this insane board. You got Titanic Galaxy, Chao Fang Light, and Void Ogre with uh, Zephyr Divine Strike. Very, very powerful, uh, this opening already, uh, which is absolutely phenomenal. And you also have this in your uh, extra deck. And this is your graveyard uh, at this point right here. Uh, uh, pretty 
uh, pretty pretty Gucci uh, and you also have the one extra card in your hand imagine if this card was you know a path or something you can activate the path to recycle back your stuff which is pretty pretty cool uh, so that's pretty much it off for combo number one let's go off to combo number two where you make Ultimaya for this combo so let's go off to combo number two Alright guys, so let's go off to combo number two. Combo number two will give you a Crystal Wing Single Dragon, Void Ogre Dragon, Ultimaya Dazokin with a Set Divine Strike. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this combo. So that's three negations right there, which is pretty, pretty amazing. And all you literally need is any Metal Full Scale, uh, you know, either a Scale 1 or 8, and any Floater plus any 2 Discard Outlet. And let me tell you guys right now, if you open up Jiao 2 uh, in, uh, with this combo, you never just want to summon the Jiao 2 and just pitch 2 to Special Summon 2. And the reason being is because you want to get the combination surge as much as possible. So that's why you always want to uh, pop um, a Yangtze monster with a metal full card. So you can set the combination. So that way at your back, so you can take advantage of that combination. So you can search for the complete scale and special summon uh, your Zafranu and Zafraxis to basically extend your combo play. So if you do open up the uh, the, the Jiao 2, you never want to use it. So what you want to do at this point is you want to activate uh, the metal full right here. So you want to activate this. Uh, you want to summon, let's say, a... Uh, Pull out again, okay. So you want to special in the pull out. At this point, you want to activate this to so pop the uh, pop the pull out to special in a Jiao two from the deck. So where's my Jiao two? So special in the Jiao two from the deck, okay. So now Jiao two is gonna activate to pitch these two cards to the graveyard, okay. Pitch these two cards to the graveyard. So this is your grave right here. Uh, oh yeah, and you also get to set the combination uh, with the metal full. So sorry for that. So you know you set uh, the combination for this, and now Jiao Two is gonna activate, pitch the two cards in your hand, special summon a Zafraxi and a uh, Zavranu, uh from the deck. Okay. At this point, you do not want to activate Zafra uh, Zafraxi's effect because uh, his effect will come on later. Uh, so what's gonna happen now is you want to synchro these two right here. So this will go to your extra deck, and this will go to the graveyard. This is your graveyard right here, and you have still have one card in your hand, and it, it's an unknown card in your hand uh, into a Baxia okay so you want to go into your Baxia right here very very Gucci so you're gonna go in your Baxia now Baxia is gonna uh, activate Baxia is gonna pop um, combination so he pops combination to special summon a Jiao 2 from your graveyard and uh, combination is gonna activate to search the complete scale so if you open up a one scale you want to uh, search up the uh, search up the missing scale you want to search up this bad boy right here okay uh, so search up the 8 scale now what you're going to do at this point is you want to synchro these two cards right here into a Excel Synchron okay Excel Synchron is your Deng Long of the deck uh, which is uh, pretty pretty jokes uh, so where's your Excel Synchron where is it yeah here it is my Excel Synchron right here so you're going to special summon the uh, Excel Synchron so now what you want to do at this point is you want to uh, you know pendulum summon out everything you're going to pendulum summon out these two cards right here pen uh Pen them out. And now what's going to happen is that Zavranu is going to search the Divine Strike. Uh, where's my sexy Divine Strike right here? Uh, so Divine Strike is going to add your hand. Don't set it yet because you're going to use it as Ultimaya. And Zafrax is going to activate the target Baxia as your tuner. So make sure your Baxia becomes a tuner. Now XL Synchron and Zafrax is on the field. You want to synchro these two cards right here. Or into a, what is it called? Another Baxia. Okay, so here is your another Baxia. And now what you want to do at this point is that you have two cards in your hand. So you have Zephyr Divine, an unknown card. And now since the new Baxia is to come out, you want to activate the Baxia's effect to pop a scale. So pop any scale right here. To special summon a Jiao 2 from your graveyard. Okay, so now what you want to do at this point is you can, you're going to go synchro these two right here into a uh, Void Ogre Dragon. Okay, and you're gonna synchro these two right here into an oh, since this card was a tuner of Zafraxi, you're gonna synchro into Ultimaya Dazokin. Okay, very, very powerful. Now you wanna set the, the Divine Strike, activate Ultimaya's effect to special summon, of course, a Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. So this is your board right here. Uh, you know, so this is your board right here. Starting off with just, you know, two card combo with two discard outlets. And this is your extra deck right here. Uh, this is your scale. You have one scale left and you also have one unknown card right here in your hand, which is very, very cool. And this is also your graveyard right here at this point. So that's pretty much it for the combo. This is your grave right here. And you can able to make these two, uh, this combo right here, which is literally two cards with any two discard outlet uh, in your hand. So I hope you hope 
hope you guys enjoyed this uh, combo video, guys. And you know what? A huge shout out goes to Ray. Uh, you know what? Yang Zing Ray for showing me these amazing combos. So you know what? A uh, uh, huge shout out goes to Ray for showing me these two amazing combos. So let me know what you guys think about this new Yang Metal Foes Yang Zing. I'm telling you guys right now, this deck is gonna be way better once Deng Long comes out because we get branches and Deng Long. And Deng Long is such an amazing floater, and this card helps you add branches to your hand. And the amount of combo plays that you can make with Deng Long is crazy. But for now, Metal Foes Yang Zing is still very very viable, and you can make boards with three negations like this which is pretty pretty cool so you got divine uh so that's one two and three negations so you got two spawn traps and one monster negation which is very very powerful so thank you guys so much for watching this video if you guys enjoyed this video let's smash that like button 200 plus likes for more deck profiles and this is sam from team sam sam signing out guys peace